Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today, we'll look at the top 10 most unique eggs in the world. Stay until number one and be amazed by the most popular blue egg in the world. Number 10, Easter egg or eggs. When people hear the word egg, the first thing many of us think of is a chicken's egg, generally white, but sometimes light brown, oval, and categorized from small to jumbo. But all over the world, eggs come in unique shapes, sizes, colors, and material. And it's not just the females that take care of some of the eggs. So today, let's look at 10 eggs that look weird when compared to the common chicken egg. And since we're already on the topic, let's start with a chicken egg that's popular, especially during an Easter egg hunt, because it's from a breed that can lay eggs in not just one, not two, not three, but four colors. And we're not even talking about the different shades in between. Meet the appropriately named Easter Egger. It's a cute, easygoing, and friendly chicken that you can raise in your backyard. It's become a favorite among American farmers because of its ability to lay multicolored eggs from blue to green to red to brown and the colors in between. You won't get all the colors from just one hen though. This has to do with genetics. But if you have several hens with different parent stock, then you'll get a multicolored rainbow egg box you can proudly show to friends not just during Easter, but the whole year round. Number nine, horn shark eggs. In our video of the strangest things that have washed up on the beach, we featured mermaid purses, AKA shark and skate eggs. These little black or brown leathery pouches wash up to the shore when the babies are born. That takes this mermaid purse business to the next level. The horn shark is generally a docile animal that has a prominent blunted head, curved snout, and horn-like ridges over each eye. And it produces this black corkscrew-like egg. Yup, this weird looking thing is not a seaweed, but an egg. No one knows why or how the shape develops, whatever the reason may be. The shape has a practical purpose. You see, the mother shark takes off the moment she lays her eggs, but before she runs away from her brood, she screws the eggs into the small crevice that becomes the egg's nest. This keeps them from drifting away and being eaten by predators. Then she leaves and the babies are left to develop inside the eggs. They get their nutrients from the yolk inside their cases. It's safe to say this is one egg you won't see during an Easter egg hunt. If you want to look for one, you'll need to hunt for it in the rocky reefs or kelp forests. There is no chance you'll miss it. Number eight, common muir eggs. We animal lovers know that penguins are flightless birds, but here's a penguin lookalike that can not only fly, but lives in rocky cliffs. It's called common muir or common guillemot. Depending on where the birds live, this bird's propensity for high places has a big impact on its egg shape and coloring. This is the regular oval shape of most bird eggs. This is how the common muir's egg looks like. Notice how pointy it is on one end? For a long time, experts believe that this shape helps keep the egg from rolling off the cliff where the birds nest and helps with better heat transfer during incubation. But a 2017 study suggested that the shape has two additional benefits. The first is protection. The common muir lives in large colonies, so their habitat can get really cramped with minimal landing spaces. Lots of eggs could get smashed by adult birds, but the muir's egg shape dissipates the force of impact across its surface, so it doesn't crack easily, even if an adult lands on it. The second benefit is all about cleanliness. Again, because lots of birds inhabit a small space, their homes can get pretty filthy. The egg shape makes it naturally tilt with the pointy side mostly on the ground and the large side above the ground. This ensures that filth doesn't clog up the pores of the eggshells and lets the chicks breathe easily. The eggs come in a wide range of pool colors, from blue to brown to green to black and even lilac and they have markings that are so cool that we bet even Jackson Pollock would be envious of them. Each marking is supposed to be unique, so each mother muir knows which one is her egg, even though they're all packed together in tight spaces. And when the chicks hatch, they go through a rough initiation, cliff jumping. Even before their first flight, even before their first hunt, they literally need to leave the nest to fly. Number seven, green lacewing eggs. 
Green lacewings are underappreciated insects. These delicate looking light green insects with ethereal wings and golden eyes may look like tiny fairies or colorful dragonflies, but they're also lean, mean predator machines. Besides their staple food of nectar, pollen, and honeydew, they also eat those pesky insects that ruin your garden, like aphids, thrips, mealybugs, and spider mites. And they lay some of the most beautiful and most dainty eggs in the world. The eggs are either laid singly or in small groups. Singly, they look like tiny flower buds. In groups, they look like a bunch of tiny grapes. Each one is always found perched on the tip of a hair-like stalk that's about half inch long. This stalk helps reduce chances of the eggs being eaten by larvae that hatch earlier than their siblings. In other words, this is mother saying, kids, cannibalism is wrong, so don't eat your baby brothers and sisters. Number six, emu eggs. Emus are flightless birds from Australia. We featured them in our video of unusual baby animals. You see, emu chicks are born with white stripes running through their bodies, so they look very different from their parents. But before they are born, these chicks are encased in greenish-blue eggs with an eggshell that people have likened to that of Damascus steel. History buffs know that Damascus steel was the material of choice for weapons used during the time of Alexander the Great and the Crusades. It was valued for turning into beautiful weapons with watery or wavy light and dark patterns that were vastly superior to weapons formed from iron. So this side trivia just means that emu eggs are as tough and as beautiful as high quality steel. And they're also big. They may not be as big as an ostrich egg, but we bet that you'll still have a great breakfast if you cook one. We're halfway through. Are you liking this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative and exciting animal videos. Number five, leafy sea dragon eggs. The leafy sea dragon is a cousin of the more popularly known seahorse. It's found only in southern Australian waters, and just like its cousin, it's the male sea dragon that takes charge of the eggs. When they mate, the female produces up to 250 bright pink eggs. She deposits them onto the male's tail via a long tube in her body called an ovipositor. Each of the eggs is attached to a brood patch so it can get steady supply of oxygen. Then the dad carries and incubates them during the entire brooding process. After about six to nine weeks, the eggs begin to turn from pink to purple or orange as the babies start to hatch. The dad, sea dragon, pumps and shakes his tail or rubs it against seaweed and rocks until all the babies emerge from their sacks. It takes about 24 to 48 hours for all the eggs to hatch. The baby sea dragons have a small yolk sac when they hatch. This serves as a backup food source, even though they can hunt immediately after hatching. Number four, deep sea octopus eggs. These are the eggs of the deep sea octopus. Notice how it's shaped like a teardrop or a capsule. It's also only as big as an olive. Can you believe that something this small can turn into something really big? It turns from milky white to orange when the babies are about to hatch. But these features are not what makes these eggs amazing. What's amazing is that the mother octopus will lay only one set of eggs in her lifetime, and then it'll die at about the time that its eggs hatch. The octopus has as many as 165 eggs in her brood, and she cares for them for up to 53 months. Since the eggs need a lot of oxygen, the mother continuously bathes the eggs in fresh, oxygenated seawater and keeps them from being covered with silt or debris. She also guards them against predators. Really, the octopus should be given the mother of all time award. Because of the long love and care given to them, the babies are fully capable of surviving on their own when they hatch. Number three, whelk eggs. Picture this, you're walking along the beach and you see what looks like a skeleton of an eel or a snake, or a discarded but very intricate origami. When you look closer, you find out that it's not a skeleton after all. It's actually a whelk egg casing. Whelks are large sea snails with heavy pointed spiral shells. The actual eggs look like tiny nachi, but they are further encased in pouches arranged in a long spiral shaped casing that can be over two feet long. Each strand contains up to 200 small pouches 
and each pouch has up to 100 eggs. So this is like an egg within an egg case within another egg case. But even this triple protection is not enough for the mother whelk. She further protects her babies by anchoring one end of the long casing at the bottom of the ocean. This prevents it from washing ashore and drying out in the sun. Only when the babies have hatched does the case float and wash up on the shore. Because of its beauty, the whelk egg casing is also called a mermaid's necklace. These mermaids really like to collect lots of stuff, don't they? I want more. Number two, giant water bug eggs. There's a water bug that has lots of names. Bellostomatidae, alligator ticks, alligator fleas, electric light bugs, Indian toe biters, toe biters. It's a very aggressive predator. It stalks, captures, and feeds on fish, amphibians, snails, crustaceans, and even baby turtles, salamanders, and water snakes. For male giant water bugs, the foods must be to build up strength when egg season arrives. Giant water bugs from the genus Lithocerus lay their eggs on vegetation above the waterline. Afterwards, the males guard the eggs ferociously until the babies have hatched. The dads even climb up the plant's stem to shield the eggs from predators and bring water to keep them moist. This may be a great example of a great dad, but males from the Bellostoma genus of the giant water bug take this babysitting one step further. When females of this genus lay their eggs, they glue as many as 100 eggs on their mates' backs. When they finished, they go off to find another mate. Meanwhile, Mr. Mom carries the eggs for the next week or two. They routinely expose the eggs to water and air, and stroke them with his hind legs to keep water circulating over them and clean off any possible fungus that might harm his babies. Now that is the daddy of the year right there. Number one, American Robin eggs. Ah, spring. It's that time of the year when flowers bloom and the most famous egg in the world is laid. Of course, we're talking about the American Robin's egg. American Robins nest early each year, and that's why it's also called the Harbinger of Spring. Its egg is so famous that it's even inspired its own commercial color, the Robin's Egg Blue, a shade of cyan that mimics the bright bluish green of the bird's egg. The Robin's Egg color has fascinated scientists for years, but up to now, they still don't know a lot about it. But according to recent studies, the color may be because of a bile pigment called biliverdin. Depending on the concentration of the pigment, the eggshell's color can range from the famous bright, bold blue to bluish green to pale ice blue. Usually, the smaller eggs or those laid early have more intense color than the larger ones or those laid later in the nesting cycle. But no matter what color its eggshell is, the babies all hatch to become like these hungry chicks. There you have it, our top 10 most unique eggs in the world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our video of the strangest things that have washed up on the beach.